Lightning 100 live in the studios. That was Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I got some special Friday afternoon guests getting over here. It's the members of WPA. They're here in town playing out at uh, Accident tonight. How you guys doing? Doing well, well, thank you. Good. I'm excited about uh, checking up with you since uh, the last time you're here. We're actually on the other side of the wall in the Music Business Radio studios. Mm -hmm. And uh, But uh, let's go ahead and let's get a tune from you. Uh, I know I wanted to have everyone sing a song, but uh, we got uh, Sean Watkins over there. He's not uh, feeling too good today, so we're going to we're gonna give him the day off. But uh, it for tonight. Yeah, we, yeah. We, still, we still got uh, Glenn Phillips. Uh, he can sing a song as well, Luke Bola. So who's going to start? I'll, uh, I will kick it off one time. All right, this is WPA live in the Lightning 100 studio, six man minutes past two on Lightning 100. I'm not here for your confession. You said all there is to say. This house was made of tinder. And we both set off the flames I went wild in the wreckage You were wandering off into the smoke There shouldn't be a chance we could recover Shouldn't be holding you so close But I still see you as you are Before the tears Beneath the scars Kisses sweet and words so rough You will always have my love and I've no interest in perfection just want some honesty And our little indiscretions Are just spittle in the sea Why'd we think that we were different? Well, everybody knows it's nothing new So someone might have spent the night beside you He can't love you like I do I still see you as you are Beneath the scars Kisses sweet And words so rough You will always Have my love Live on Lightning 100, that's WPA sounding great here in the Lightning 100 studios. It's Glenn Phillips, Luke Bulla, and Sean Watkins. They've all had uh, their own thing going on, and now you guys have this project. And t Tell me a little bit about it. How long have you guys been friends? Uh, Luke and I have been friends for uh, almost 20 years now. We met at a Bluegrass Festival in Missouri a long, long time ago. Um, and um, you know, We've known each other and played on and off over the years. Um, 
but never really officially in a band. So that's that's Sean Watkins. Uh, we know him from Nickel Creek, and it's amazing to see to hear you talk about. Yeah, I know this guy for twenty years. When you when know, they were ten. You, yeah, you met. you look like you're about in your twenties still. So yeah. it's a uh, actually yeah, I'm thirty two. I think I was twelve or thirteen when we met. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Right on. Well, uh, it's it's such a great sound. I imagine it was uh, pretty fun uh, getting to do this, uh, do the record. You had some really huge names on this album. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, you know uh, how that got started? There was like there's a, a show down in is it the L.A. area? Is that what was? Well, there are a couple parts to it. I mean, um, Sean and his uh, sister Sarah Watkins have been playing at uh, this club Largo in Los Angeles pretty regularly for. Uh, the last eight years or so, and their house band is kind of developed. Ben Montench came by once and loved it and started coming all the time. He plays keyboards with Tom Petty, and he's, you know, basically whenever he's in town and they're in town, he's in the band. Greg Lease, pedal steel player, um, uh, you know, hangs out there too. Uh, and so they're kind of, they're good friends. They hang out all the time. Uh, and we'd done a tour before, uh, Pete, Pete Thomas, who played drums on the album, who plays with the attractions. And he had toured with uh, a band called Mutual Admiration Society, which was me and Nickel Creek together. And so we'd just all known each other for a long time. You know, Pete and Ben Mott had known each other for 30 years or something. And, um, we played a show in Santa Barbara and, uh, Luke was in town and we all got together and we had so much fun. We took it out on the road and we did a short tour. Um, had Grantley Phillips out for that as well, actually. And it was one too many uh, lead singers, so we decided he could be our kind of in the back pocket Neil Young waiting in the wings. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but we'd wanted to do another record together for a long time. Sean and I had, uh, you know, done the mutual admiration thing and, uh, and, you know, wanted to bring Luke into it. It was just, it, it really came about organically. It was just a bunch of friends wanting to do something and we didn't figure out anything about, you know, what we were going to call it or how we'd put it out till quite a while after we recorded it. I'd say musically, it feels pretty organic just listening to you play even here in the studio today. Um, and when you talk about uh, organic, also grassroots, where you say on your blog or on your website, wpamusic.com, you're like, we're an independent band. We have no label, no corporate pockets to pick, no millions to splatter our name across the mediascape, and you need your fans to spread the word. So how's, how's it going? How's that working? It's going okay. I mean, we wouldn't mind having millions of corporate <laughs> sponsors. We just don't. So yeah. <laughs> we're doing the best with what we got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen to that.